Hey, what's going on, Capricorns? Uh, Butch Tarot here. Gonna do you one week read. Uh, it is a general read, um, so it will not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus. So don't forget to check your charts. If you want to get a hold of me privately, all my information is in the description box. Always feel free to comment down below. Um, I'll be doing my weeklies, and then um, sometime coming up here, I'll be doing a yearly spread for 2020. So stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, I'll be using the Gilded Tarot today. So let's get right into it. Let's see what we have for the Capricorn. What's going on, universe? What's going on for the Capricorn? What's going on for Capricorns? Alright, so the first thing I see is I see you just, you, you were dealing with, um, you know, somebody, somebody that was being very sneaky, um, possibly a, a Leo, got some Leo energy as well as some more Leo energy. Um, <clears throat> I feel like there's a lot of, you know, a lot of, um, a lot of things that you were you were not aware of, um, you know, some things going on without your knowledge. You know, I feel like I feel like this this is something from you know uh, of the past. I don't feel like this is this is that recent, but it's still it's still something that's been on your mind. Um, you know, I feel like. I feel like it was something like they just weren't on your level. Like they, at the end of the day, they weren't on the same level as you are. Um, you know, I feel like you want something more committed. You want something, you know, that you've been loyal. Like you, you know, you you're a loyal person. Um, that's one of the things I I feel like you pride yourself on. And and this person was kind of like seemed like they were a good fit but it was like you, you you missed what was going on on the side and you know there was a sneakiness going on that you weren't aware of um but like i said i feel like they just weren't on your level like they they couldn't bring it to the same level that you you, you expect um you know i i feel like you're just starting to find that balance though. Like this, th this isn't affecting you as much anymore. And, and, and as we go on, it's not gonna, it's gonna affect you less and less. Cause I, f I feel like you're gonna, you know, you're gonna get that balance back. Um, we got the Temperance card as well, some Sagittarius energy, but it's all about regaining that balance. I mean, sometimes when we're in a relationship, like I said, I don't feel like this is, this is, this is something that just happened. Uh, it is still kind of recent because you're still, you know, I feel like it's still on your mind a bit, but I feel like, like I said, coming up, I feel like the Two of Pentacles and the Temperance cards both telling me that you're gonna get that balance back, uh, get back to being you. Um, you know, I feel like it's a matter of just, you know, we got the Three of Cups. I feel like it's a matter of just, you know, kind of getting out of this, in order to get out of this slump, in order to get out of this, this funk, we will call it, you know, of, this past person, I feel like what you need to do is you need to get out, you know, maybe, maybe just have some time, some friends, you know, just have a good time, you know, don't even worry about anything, just kind of go out and have one of those moments where you just kind of let go, um, you know, and I feel like we have the six of wands, so usually, you know, what, what I say with that card is, it's, 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 a, it's a winning card, I feel like that's, how you're gonna come out on top. That's how you're gonna reach this balance, how, how you're gonna get this, 
um, like the tempers card, that equilibrium. Like you're gonna get that balance back because you're gonna get it back out and realize that you're the shit. This person didn't realize that, they're lost. Um, you know, and I feel like we're gonna have some forward movement here. Um, also some cancer energy, but you know, some new motivation. So new, you know, and, and, and I feel like, you know, there is, that that is in your future, the Ten of Cups, we, you know, just that forward movement and realizing that this just motivates you to find the next person, the, the, the person that's going to be wanting what you want. Um, I do feel like, you know, there is, there is a connection with someone and that is coming up. There will be a connection. It is somebody that you can see a future with, but I feel like it's going to be, you know, it's going to be fairly slow moving. Um, this person is very motivated. They know what they want. I feel like you're going to see them as someone you can, you know, move forward in the future. I don't feel like, you know, um, I feel like it is somebody that you could possibly get with, you know, because you do see them as somebody that you can, you know, you can build that foundation with and move on to, into, into the future uh, together. But I feel like it's going to be slow moving. You know, I do see in the, you, you in the future getting together. I don't feel like this is coming the next week. I just feel like you're going to meet this person that is going to, you know, be this person that's motivated. We get a lot of air there. So, I mean, it's, it's a matter of just getting out, getting rid of this, this past, you know, this past energy with that, you know, with, with that fire, just getting past that because they were on your level. And just getting out with friends, reminding yourself of who you are and, you know, what you expect should never be compromised. Uh, they compromised what you expected. They weren't on your level. Like I said, they, were, they, they weren't even committed. You know, with that Seven of Swords, there's was, there, there was some sneakiness going on. Um, some betrayal. I mean, they, they, they weren't taking you seriously. And like I said, you just need to get out get with some friends, that's gonna put you back in that winning mentality. You know, back in the fact that you're on top of the, you know, you're the shit. You don't need anybody else. You know, you don't need people in, in your life that don't respect you. Um, getting out with some friends and, and or family and just having a good time and just letting it all go and not even thinking about anything, that's gonna bring that balance back to your life. Um, with the two of pentacles. You know, it's gonna make you realize that if they if they weren't if they weren't bringing it, they weren't good enough. Simple as that. Um, and it's gonna help you move forward. And moving forward, like I said, <coughs> you're gonna have some new motivation because there's gonna be some there's gonna be an you know I see a new energy coming into your life. And this 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 person is very motivated, like I said. Um, they got their shit together. They know what they want. They ain't about the games. You could be dealing, like I said, a lot of air there. Um, it is somebody that I feel like, like, you know, take your time, but I feel like it could work it into a relationship. And that relationship could work out long term. But it's a matter of taking your time here. Um, you know, just get to know each other and, and just have have fun. Um, don't take it too seriously. But like I said, be, do everything you, you do. Like, you know, like, I feel like you're going to be motivated to move forward with this person. That's what I'm getting with the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. They're motivated. You're motivated. There's no rush. Um, I do feel like you guys could get together. And, you know, it could be a long-term thing. Because you guys both kind of want the same thing. Um, you know, I don't feel any clashing of ideas here. Uh, I feel like you guys kind of heading in the same direction. But like I said, first things first, you got to get rid of that, that past energy. Um, you know, that past person. They weren't on your level. They didn't bring it. Like I said, um, getting out, having a good time, not even worrying about this. 
just just going out and just having that carefree uh, kind of fun time, you know, just just all about you moment, and you'll regain your balance and realize that 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 past person wasn't on your level, and we, and we can't have we we can't have time for people that aren't on our level. You know, we ain't playing games. People ain't playing games like a lot of people play a lot of games. But you know what you want. And that's the first step. Knowing what you want. Expecting nothing less. Uh, like I said, you're going to come out feeling like a winner here. Like it's almost like that person, They were. you're going to realize they were a burden on you. And, and, and it's it, the best thing that could have happened is that person exiting your life. And I, and I see you moving forward because of this. You know, I see some forward movement there with with that chariot card. And, you know, I get a lot of air. You know, I feel like I feel this new energy coming. And I feel like it is coming soon. Um, but like I said, you're going to be motivated. You know, this person is going to spark, spark your interest. And you're going to want to, you know, see what's up. And I feel like you're going to keep exploring that. And I feel like they want, they want to explore you. Uh, but like I said, I got the Two of Cups and the Ten of, ten of Cups. I don't feel like you're going to be in a relationship that quickly. You know, I do feel like it is coming pretty quick. Because you're both motivated. But I don't feel like in the next week you're going to get together. Um, it might be just the, the Two of Cups. It might be just, you know, get together. have a, You know, maybe get, get out, have some dinner. Maybe catch a movie. Uh, that sort of thing. I don't feel like it's going to be a romantic, um, you know, a, you know, it's not going to be, you're not going to be a couple by the end of the week. There is some romance there, but it, it isn't going to be, um, you know, you getting married <laughs> or anything like that. Like with Ten of Cups, I, that's a family card. So I feel like this is something that could go somewhere. So I feel like it, it is worth checking out. Uh, the universe is telling me that you're, like I said, you're both motivated. You, you both probably been, you know, down the same road before. Uh, some common ground there and just dealt with some immature people. And which is going to bring you kind of, the two of you closer together. Um, but stay tuned for that. And that's what I got for you, Capricorn. Thanks for watching.